Hey guys, what's going on? Well, here's a quick update. There's my new bookshelf speakers. Uh, imitation audio, 6.5 inch uh, woofers. Really, really nice speakers. Uh, I used to have the floor standards to these, and these ones originally were mids. Or the, the design was the mids on the, uh, the floor standards, but now this is the woofer. Uh, they do pack a punch for the size. The ports underneath, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, I've received my Moran amp as well, which I'm really happy about. Didn't come with remote, but I already had one from my last one that my brother-in-law blew up. So yeah, basically this video is to explain about these. Basically, these things um, are starting to blister, and the paint started to come away, as you can see there. But the other ones suffered a lot more. So basically, I'm going to sand them down and use this stuff. As you can see, the stone chip stuff that I used to use on my JBL box is cheaper than anything. Six ninety eight would be more than enough to do the bottom of these uh, these bookshelves. So uh, that's the port underneath. As you can see, there's the four screw holes that hold the base on, and they're hidden underneath these things. These little rubber tacky things. I'll get some new ones anyway, because these are kind of thin anyway. Right, let me show you the condition of this one. The paint is starting to peel really badly. The wood's not watered or anything, or what you know, water, um, water damaged or anything like that. It's just the paint is uh, shoddy. So, like I said, sand the shit out of them, and then give them one coat of that stone stuff, which is more than enough, because they're not going to be getting scratched or anything like that, because they're just going to be sitting like that basically on the table. So yeah, really really nice speakers these man. I was up uh, Wolf and Cross if any of you guys know where that is. With my brother, saw them in cash converters and I thought they've got to come home with me. So yeah, bought them. Eighty nine pounds is nothing to be honest. If you want something, buy it. Do you know what I mean? You can't take your money with you guys. So yeah, there's the Morants. The thing I like about these amps, look, I'll show you the volume, if you ever focuses. <clears throat> right, basically it's going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Normal amps stop there, right? This one continues. 15 plus. Which is really good. And the uh, subwoofer level on this is a lot more better than the Sony. I hate to say that because I love that Sony amp. But this, this amp just kills it man, it's just crazy. And I got it for dirt cheap as well. I paid £26 for the actual amp itself. And then £20 for the postage. And the guy is absolutely, he's, he's, a, he's a legend. It says on there 5 to 7 days. He dispatched it a couple of days ago and it arrived today. Which I'm so happy about. Um, I'll show you, it's 660 watts. As you can see there, it's a 660 watts. 6.1 but this is what I don't understand is 6.1 there and on there it says seven channels but whatever anyway <coughs> right let me show you here right 26 pounds plus 20 pounds so you won this auction and this is the price that they're selling them at on there at the moment so <laughs> I got myself a good bargain there and that's the same sort of thing, no remote, blah blah blah. So yeah. Um, after I've done these, I'm going to try and hurry up and build a box for that uh, GTR 12 over there. Because I really need to get that boxed up. With the rest of that stone chip stuff that I'm going to use on the base of these, I'm going to finish that uh, Samsung 8 inch home cinema sub there. Um, then I've got another box to build for this bad boy here. It's uh, 1500 RMS. And I'm telling you now, this thing is solid. Look, it's not even gonna. I can't even move it. It doesn't even move. It's got a double stack magnet, 12 spoke basket. So yeah, got the JB up there, P1. Loads of other shit over there. So now yeah, mission speakers. Um, the rail. There's the rail sub there. Well, it's not rail there. The box is rail and the amps rail, but that's a shark sub. The amp on it, I've fucking fried it somehow. So I need to change a resistor on it and then it'll be working again. Uh, got the two tens. 
got the base works next to the Sony and the Sony over fucking overrides this size of different look. Bloody nuts that is. So yeah, and the chat and waffle. I got these for free by the way as well to shoot my books uh, bookshelf rear speakers, which I'm gonna put one up there and one up there as well. I got them from my father in law's flat. He was moving that uh, moving his stuff at the flat and he said to me he'd take them. They're not bad. They're small but they'll do the job. So yeah, I'll be uh, uploading another video tomorrow hopefully guys if I get this uh, these bases done tomorrow. I'll probably take these off now and sand them tonight. So then all I've got to do tomorrow basically is spray them and they'll be done. Alright? Peace guys.